Hey YouTube, B3 here back, another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the Ultron figure from the Marvel Legends Iron Man 3 Wave 2 line thing. Yeah. Uh, pretty neat figure. It's really just Titanium Man with Ultron parts up top. That's really it. Uh, new shoulders, new head, new paint job. And I think that's it. I think that's all that's new. Came with the head of Ironmonger. And uh, a neat little figure. I'm glad I have it. I try to get all the Ultrons. I hear there's going to be a figure arts Ultron. I'll definitely be getting that. Uh, and I have the Marvel Select and the Toy Biz Marvel Legend Ultron. So, but, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty cool figure, I think. Uh... As I said, it is mostly the Titanium Man sculpt, but the head's really impressive. You know, it's kind of this more classic-looking Ultron head, as you can see. Nice uh, mouth and everything, clean paint. Very good. And you know, it's got this, this like, no paint detail or anything, just all silver. Uh, as you can see, it is still all Titanium Man. It's got some... I think I wish you could stand better. I can't. You can't do a lot of dynamic posing with this guy, really at all. But he's got, you know, some like red dots on his shoulders, and you know, just lots of armor. I don't really know what to say. He's he's pretty, uh, he's pretty bland paint-wise, but sculpt-wise, he's not he's not too bad, I guess. I mean, he's got detail on his joints, which is pretty nice. That's that's really. I mean, I'm sorry I'm not so enthusiastic today. I don't feel very well. I just I'm really behind on my reviews and I need to get some filmed. But yeah, articulation, you know, head up and down, good bit. Really like that side to side, you know. Uh, you got these shoulder hinges. I was not expecting shoulder hinges. I thought they'd just be like stuck there and they would get in the way of the articulation. But they they hinge up so you can move the arm up or however you want. That's really nice. Really, really nice, actually. I'm, I'm very, very impressed with that. As you can see, the arm does go up and down, forward and back and all. Bicep swivel, double elbow bend, wrist rotation, in and out on the wrist as well. Nice ab crunch. As you can see, we get a good bit of forward and some back, you know. That's not bad. Waist, mine's a little loose. Uh, no big deal. The legs, eh, like, you can go in and out. But you can't go forward and back. It doesn't, like, you have to turn the joint. And then when you turn the joint, the leg sticks out kind of far. So, like, I got a problem with the upper upper bit of leg articulation there. Uh, nice knee bend, though. Rotation on the feet and up and down. But no ankle pivot, which really bothers me. And the feet do look a little goofy. But they do have peg holes and detail on the bottom, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting. I got mine for about 15 bucks at the flea market, which was release price, so that's fine. I mean, all the ones I see online are like 20 and then shipping, so that's I think that's totally fair. 15 I thought that was pretty fair. But, I mean, yeah, so now about we get into some size comparisons for this guy. Here's Ultron of some of Hasbro's more recent Marvel Legends. Here on the left we have the... Superior Spider-Man, and here on the right, Nova. And these are recent, like from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, type waves. Really neat, really neat. Uh, you know, I think they actually scale pretty good. You know, Ultron's a little taller than both, which is totally fine, because, you know, he's this dominating robot overlord guy. And... But he's about as bulky as they are. I really I really like him. I really like the scaling, actually. I think it's pretty good. So, yeah, he's going to scale up with your other Hasbro Marvel Legends. Now, here he is with some Diamond Select figures. These are from their Marvel Select line, of course. And uh, here on the left, obviously, Ultron. And on the right, the Amazing Spider-Man. And, uh... To be honest, I think he's a little small here. Maybe a little small for the Amazing Spider-Man. But what a lot of people do with this figure is they buy a bunch of them. And use them as Ultron's drones, because Ultron often has drones that fight for him. As there will be in uh, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, there are going to be drones. And 
This figure is often used as a drone, an Ultron drone. So, like, you get a few and use them as an Ultron drone. I don't know if I want to use mine as an Ultron drone. I just have a bunch of different Ultrons. So, you know, whatever. But, uh, this, you know, I think he works fine with a regular Ultron if you're going for, like, a drone appeal. And here's some Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends, uh, which are a little smaller than Hasbro, I guess, just a little. Uh, here on the left we have a Spider-Man, unidentified. If you want to identify it for me, feel free to do that in the comments, because I don't know what Spidey it is. And here on the left we actually have a Hasbro re-release of the Toy Biz Carnage. So Toy Biz put out this Carnage, and then Hasbro put out a later one, and this is the Hasbro one. But they're the same sculpt, so I thought I'd use them anyways. And uh, Ultron's bigger than them, but since it's Ultron, I think it's fine. I think it works. No big deal. So this Ultron's going to scale up well with your Legends, but maybe not your Selects. Maybe your larger, you know, like Ultron. He can work as a drone and stuff, but, you know, really for Selects, it's a no-go. So what are my final thoughts on the Iron Man 3 Marvel Legends Ultron figure? Well... He's pretty neat, you know, I got him $15 at a flea market, no strings attached, wink. Uh, really nice figure, got him with my, with the, you know, build a figure piece, perfect condition and package. It's just a good buy, you know, I don't regret it at all. I've been messing around with this figure since I bought it, and I bought him several weeks ago. Probably even longer than that by the time I get this review up, just that I review him since, you know, Avengers 2 is coming up. But, uh... Yeah, really, just really neat figure. Very glad to have him. Uh, the articulation's fine. Could be better in the legs. Uh, not a lot of paint detail on this guy, but scaling's good. So, you know, all in all, I gotta give this guy 3 out of 5 stars. He's a good little figure to have in your collection. I'm gonna say Marvel Select's your best bet. So, yeah. You know, that's it, you guys. Uh, three out of five stars. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below. We got Facebook, Twitter. We'll follow you back on the Twitter as soon as we get past our follow cap. But, yeah, man. That is it. That is it. Thank you all so much for your support. As I said, three out of five stars. And I'll see you all later.